<laughs> you have no idea how happy this made me. Mainly because I fucking called this. For those of you guys out there who have no idea what I'm talking about or don't care, a few months ago I released a video explaining why I use the bone saw instead of the uber saw or as so many kind gents pointed out to me, the straight upgrade solemn valve. In this video, I said that this weapon is a straight upgrade and valve will eventually nerf it. Lo and behold, the great Valve God descendeth upon the Amputator and had smitten it with nerfs most evil. And that's a concern for me. The Solemn Vow has the potential for being on the nerf chopping block. Now, I like Strangers and Killstreak, so if I was going to sink time and metal into getting both of those, I wanted to be sure it was going to stay untouched, and the possibility of it being nerfed was as unsettling as a clown with chainsaws for testicles. Just like item sets and the old amputator, straight upgrades are a big no-no for Valve apparently. And as I said in the video, the solemn Valve was going to get nerfed one day. Lo and behold, eight months later, the prophecy foretold comes henceforth truth. Now, in all fairness, minus 10% swing speed in the long run is about as noticeable as a women's basketball league, so we might as well just still call it a straight upgrade. But, I'm finally happy, because I can technically say I have the statistical advantage, and we all know that Team Fortress 2 players are a slave to numbers after all. The point is I called it, and I'm doing a celebratory jive. Mm, yeah. Mm, do, ah, do a jive. Yeah. Mm. Moving on to the rest of the update. The biggest cactus in the bum for a lot of people out there was how they're turning this game into Team Strike Counter Fortress 2. With the addition of skins and stat tracks and all the other delicious fruit of the loom, folks are starting to think that they're turning TF2 into CSGO. But the thing is, how is that such a bad thing? First of all, I think it's easy enough to say that releasing skins into CSGO saved the game like a glitchy memory card. So criticizing Valve for trying to do the same for their other games really isn't fair, especially since it's worked so well in the past. But on another note, some of these skins I felt were just deliberately designed to suck. I mean, seriously, this looks like the fucking wallpaper from Toy Story. Another fork in the eye for people is the fact that you have to pay real world money to participate in the contracts. Firstly, I know some people out there are hard for cash nowadays, and I can appreciate that. However, when you think about it, $6 really isn't that much money. I have to say a lot on this topic, so I won't talk about it too much here, but my major point on people griping about this is that you really don't have any room to bitch. Seriously, including a premium account, duck journal, and contracts pass, that's still about, what, $17? Sorry, I can't math very well, so don't judge me on that, but on top of that, you can trade for all this stuff too. You, get, you can get a premium account without ever spending a cent. Even the last few events you had to pay to take part in, you had the option of trading for the participation. So, sure, it's way more difficult to do that, but that's where you kind of have to decide what's more important to you, your time or your money. In my case, neither has any significant value whatsoever. And lastly, my thoughts on how nearly every class got beanbagged in the bean hole. Well, needless to say, the gunslinger nerf I was hoping for didn't come this year. Santa didn't bring me any sort of knockback reduction, range reduction, or build time increase at all. Instead, they're... wait... repairable now? Okay, well, I'm not sure how it works over there with you boys, Valve, but... I think a bit of the magic behind the pun slinger was the fact that you couldn't repair it. It's either limp to the barn with whatever broken sensor you have standing or spend another 100 metal to replace it. I kind of like that decision really, it gave me the feeling of power, you know? I can choose who lives and who gets put down due to bodily injuries. On the other hand, let's all have a moment of silence for the dead ringer and lock and load. <laughs> God damn. They messed up the Dead Ringer stats here, something nasty. I, I played Spy earlier today and I had the Dead Ringer equipped. This thing is so goddamn different, I had no idea what was happening until I actually went through and thought about the statistics for a little bit. Seriously, I'd call me a retard, but I had the hardest time figuring out what this did and what kind of advantages I have while I was being invisible. It was the weirdest thing ever. <laughs> Basically, all I managed to figure out was someone shoots you and the next thing you know, you run fast and you're very difficult to see, much like Usain Bolt in the dark. Meanwhile, on the other side of the globe in Baron Unicycle, Russia, the Heavy got himself a beautiful buff. 20% resistances when spun up and some really interesting stat changes to the otherwise unused weapons of his. Seriously, up until now, if you were a Heavy and you didn't run stock, snatty, and grew, you were pretty much out of luck, buddy. I really hope we see a lot more Heavy players now because of this, and honestly, I'm really sick of all the Knuckle Dragon soldiers out there, so it'll be a really nice change. 
And once again, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to say that we, the medics of the world, have made it out of this without a scratch. Only slight changes to the solemn vow and ones I'm happy for on top of that. You know, to commemorate this event, I might just make a skin for the solemn vow that says Socrates can grease himself on the plaque. Maybe then I'd use this thing. Anyway, there's plenty more about this update I forgot to mention, or didn't care to mention. Specifically, the new stir for cancer hitting the streets like black tar. But all in all, I actually really like this update. I feel like they're kinda easing us into the matchmaking preparations, and if nerfs and buffs all around is what it takes, then Arriba! So be it. Well folks, my name is Array7, and this has been my opinion on the Gun Metal Update. Enjoy the rest of your contracts, my friends. P.S. Snowplow. Yay! I'm the invincible, undefeated champion. Mount Zion's my ancestors can't rely on. Star of David, nah, the thought of Sodom. Modern dumb and done crumbs left to the dumb thumb to this play button, glutton of words. Mud, mutton, birds of fly to fly to you, dropping thirds. Hopping up on ignorance to feel how your mighty pop up the real. Dance the visual, cry to deity. Pious piety, mighty be the